Hello. Today we're going to be making a colour graph plate. Um, we're going to use bank card. I've got a piece I've cut which is A4 size. I've got a drawing that I'm going to work from um, and I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do is trace this down onto the card. After that I'm going to draw with PVA um, onto the card and let it dry. I will take it from there. Let's get started. So here you can see the drawing that I'm working from, um, which I've already made a tracing. It's one from a series I've been working on, a uh, drawing on either a computer or iPad. I think this one I did on the iPad using Procreate, which a lot of people are using these days. Um, I find it's really good for experimenting with abstract drawing, really. I mean, it's mainly used for illustration work, but um, just by thinking about the approach to it in a different way, you can use it as um, a fine art painting tool, I think, really, which is what I've done here. Um, so, yes, I've made a tracing from the drawing, which I'm now going to transfer onto a plate. So the plate is just a piece of basic mount card, um, which I've cut to A4 size. So to transfer the drawing, I'm going to remove this from its, uh, the photocopy that I printed out using bits of blue tack to stick the um, tracing in place. I'll put it on the four corners. And I'm, I'm just going to use a piece of um, carbon paper. Put that in position here, which I'll probably do that way, I think. And then I'm going to pop the drawing in position on here. When I'm happy with the, the placing of it, I'm just going to press it onto the blue tack and it will hold it in position. So I'm ready to go. So just taking a pencil, um, these days I tend to use a lot of um, mechanical pencils. Um, they keep the point and the point is quite sh important to me. Uh, I don't tend to do much um, observational drawing these days. It's mainly working on ideas in that respect. So I'm just going to go over the outlines that I've got here and transfer it onto the card. So as carefully as I can, I'm just going to trace the lines around. I'll just lift up a corner, have a look and make sure it's going on okay. Yeah, there it is, I can see it. So that's this stage I'm going to work on. I'm going to stop the video here because it's a bit pointless you watching me just draw for an hour or whatever long it's going to take for me to transfer this. And then we'll move on to the next stage, which is going to be drawing with um, a, the PVA. So I'm com coming to the end of the, um, the tracing now. Um, and I'm just going to finish off going over these lines. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with this. Um, I've got an idea of what I'm going to, how I'm going to develop this. But um, like a lot of uh, 
work that we do. It's um, experimentation and trying ideas out S and see if they work. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. You can always look at a tracing and if you've drawn it in ink to start with you can see where the pencil lines are to see what you've missed uh, and I think I've got everything there now so I'm going to remove the the carbon paper I'm not going to take the tracing off yet but I will lift one side and have a look see if everything is there that should be there hey, that's not bad you know <laughs> uh, okay, let's have a look. It's like a flip chart, isn't it? You you have a look to see what you've missed, and I think this probably should be a line there, and it's not. So I'll add that one in. there as well. I think that might be okay, so I'll fasten this side down and then lift the other ed edge up and check again. And there's a piece missing. Just little lines, but um, they just stand out quite blaringly. Okay, let's go with that. So, I'll now take the tracing off, but yeah, I will now take the tracing off. Happy with that. We can remove that, take it away. And then we've got our card template that we're going to work with. Yeah. Okay. Back in a minute. So the next stage uh, with this now is to draw onto this with PVA. But it's a little bit more than PVA that I use. I use a, a wood glue and I use this particular brand, which is um, the Gorilla wood glue. Um, and it's important that it's waterproof. I like this because it really does dry quite hard. And uh, if you're gonna put stuff through a press, it does need to be a bit more resilient than just a standard PVA. Um, I have, this um, dispenser that I use for, for drawing with. Um, there, these are available from different craft shops and they normally have um, a sort of PVA in for craft stuff, but um, I don't find 
that. I mean, it's okay for some, but it's not great for the other. For some uh, good quality printing, really. So, here's a little t test that I did the other day. Um, as we draw on with this, let me see if I can get it going. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's a very fine line that it will draw with. Which is what I'm after. So as I draw with this, it's going to have to be left to dry really hard before we uh, either go on to the next stage or print. So this drawing here has got quite a few lines in this, which um, I probably have to draw in two stages. So I'm going to start from the middle and I'm going to go over the lines that I've traced with this. I'm starting with the broad um, lines really and the double line I'll do when this one's dry. So I'm just taking my time and drawing as neat as I can. It's not always that easy to achieve because um, I suppose it's a bit like icing a cake with a fine um, nozzle. I think if I'm working from the middle outwards, I'm hoping that my hand's not going to go over any wet areas and smudge it. That's my thinking behind um, this process. I've got to be careful to keep my hands away from the areas that I've worked on, otherwise it'll just smudge and ruin the line. So I'll just check over what I've done here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think I've got everything on, on this particular shoot. Um, so I've just got to let this dry now, then I can go back and work into it again. Yeah, that looks okay. Um, one thing I will say about this dispenser is if as you leave it for a while, I find that um, the nozzle being so fine, it does sort of dry up and clog. So I tend to just wash it under uh, the hot water tap um, and using a, a straightened paper clip just to clean it all out. And once you've done that, you're away. That's it. It's good. So for this stage, we've finished. I'm just going to let that dry, which will probably be most of the day today. Um, and then we'll come back and work on to the next bit.
Thanks. So this is dried now, um, and I'm moving on to the second part, and I'm going to go through this double line uh, with the same thing. I just change my specs, and then we're going to get started. Right. So. making these lines a little thicker because um, I've noticed that they've sh these ones have shrunk more than I expected really um, so I might have to do something with that maybe go over them or add to them in some way gonna make my arm ache this because there's quite a bit of squeezing <laughs> on it but that's all right so you can see what I'm doing here I'm going over these lines now and um, doubling them up and then again I'll, I'll let it dry um, there's no use making the video extra long just doing this so I'm just gonna um, switch off now and come back to you when I've completed most of it. So yep yeah, that's completed now. Um, just one or two areas there I'm gonna add a little bit more because it looks a bit blobby. Okay, well, <clears throat> again, so I'll sign off for the time being um, and let it dry. <laughs> 